Grand Rising Kings and Queens, Gods and Goddesses. Hello everybody, Tangible Goddess, tuning in with you today. Blessings to all my kings and queens, Grand Rising all day, every day. What does the universe have to tell us today? Thank you guys for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, don't forget to like, vibe, and subscribe with your girl, Tangible Goddess. I'm just messing with my lighting. I love you guys. Make sure that you are meditating daily, taking care of that beautiful, beautiful body of yours, getting the ample amount of rest and sleep, <laughs> and just loving yourself as a whole. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Okay, guys, so what I be preaching all the time is be you, be yourself, be authentic. And I was like, I can't say I'm not being authentic, but some of the authentic things I'm doing, I don't like. It's kind of like, I mean, I can't say I'm not me, but. This is my problem, okay, guys. This is my issue. Okay. First off, I'm a Taurus. What everybody say, Taurus or stubborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before you start saying, woo, amen, yes, yes. Y your chart, you know, your chart, you might have the moon in Taurus, which very well means you're stubborn too. Am I recording? Yeah, so you probably just as stubborn as I am, or even worse, or better, <laughs> you probably got Jupiter in Taurus, which means your stubbornness is expensive. So you stubborn, just as stubborn as I am. So look up your natal chart before you start pointing the finger, okay? All right. That's, that's, that's just first off. But anyway. Yeah, it's kind of like, okay, so Taurus, we know for, we we make a decision. We ain't really asking too much advice. We we make, we think about it, we do the research, and we make a decision on what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, the only people that really can't influence us is somebody that's agreeing with what we're saying. So if you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you agree with what I'm saying. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So, you, yeah, you helping me know that I'm right, <laughs> which I already feel like I'm right about whatever it is I plan on doing. So, it's very difficult. And, um, and like, I'm always talking about how, you know, when you listen to somebody else and you do something that somebody else advised you to do, but if it feels right, then that's different. But if it don't feel right and you just strictly do it because you feel like, okay, this person, they been through it so they know or what have you, you know, and you just take the advice because you like, they know what they're talking about. Or you can look at it as the age thing, like they been around longer, they been through a lot so they know and you just listen to them. That's when the difficult part comes because... Um, and speaking of difficulty, uh, man, relationships are not as easy as I thought. I thought, this is what I thought, y'all. I was like, why everybody be like, want to kill their spouse or ex or all of that kind of stuff? Because I never felt like that. I never felt like that. These kids, man. I'm always trying to fix myself on camera. But yeah, I never felt like that. And all I just thought, I thought, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I felt like as long as you love someone or show them love and give them love, everything is all good. So I'm like, what's the big deal? How hard can a relationship be? But yeah, this shit is hard. It's hard because the hard part I'll say for me, and I'm sure everybody has their own, opinion on what's hard something that's maybe hard for me is like no problem for you but my hard part is that I like to go along with a person that loves me or a person that shows me love just a relationship 
right? So especially if you, you know, you giving me the kind of love and attention that I really like, then more than likely, you know, I'm going to go along with you because I'm like, this person really loved me. So let me listen to them because they love me and it feels good. You know, they giving me all, everything that I need, that I like. And I'm like, ooh, okay, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what I mean? But in my head, would I have done that without them? No. So it's kind of, that's my difficult part because I tend to go along with the people that I love. That I really, really love. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, ooh. They just, you know, I really love them. And I'm just saying, even in friendships and in relationships, especially it's difficult in relationships because, you know, relationships be like, oh, love it, love it. But even in friendships with somebody that I really love and they really vibing with me, you know, I'd be like, okay. They be like, come on, Tangie, let's skip school. I ain't happening in school, but I'm just giving y'all an example. And I'd be like, okay, let's skip school. But it, Tandy, she'd be like, uh-uh, I ain't skip school. I ain't trying to get in trouble. I ain't trying to get caught up in nothing. That's me, normally, tour. I don't know, tourism. We all feel the same, but that's just me. So, it's kind of like, I might pull some cards. I may not, but I'm just trying to vent today. But yeah, that's my problem. Like, I feel firm in something like, okay, this is what I want to do. And this is what I want to do. And I know I'm going to be fine. But then it's like somebody coming in my life that's showing me love or, you know, that I feel love me. And then they like, uh, no, nah, don't do that. Do this. And I'm like, why? And they like, because blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Why would they tell me something wrong? They love me. But it's hard, guys, because it's like, I know what I should be doing. Or I already didn't decide it. And now somebody's coming and telling me to move different than how I wanted to move. So, if y'all can't help but your girl out and give me some advice. And then probably my own advice that I be giving y'all all the time is, I know I need well, see, I think when I be giving y'all messages, they not just for y'all, they for me too. That's why a lot of times, like I can, you know, like they say, uh, easier said than done. It's it's so, so much easier said than done because when it comes to actually doing these things, we don't care what kind of excuse we make up, but it's just difficult. It's very difficult and it be sounding like it's so easy. It's difficult and it complicated depending on your situation. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pull some cards and straighten that out, y'all. It's a straighten me out. And, y'all, if y'all having the same kind of issues or problems, you know, give me a shout out. But what I believe, because I was listening to this guy that do, I, I think his name is, I know it's Finesse, Hippie Finesse, or Finesse Hippie, but he's an astrologer. And uh, he's good, so I need to tag him. I think I'm going to tag him in this video just to, uh, you know, because he's good. I need to get him his props. He's good. He's taught me a lot. And it's like my uh, moon in Pisces. And when I listen to his video, on your, listen to his video, guys, on your moon sign. And when I listen to his video talking about the moon sign, like my moon is in Pisces everything he's saying I was like that's me so I was just like stunned at how it's like he all he had to do was say my name and I'd be like he know me but it's it's just beautiful to learn you know I know everybody don't believe in astrology but when I say he had me down to the T that was me no one listen I mean for me but look y'all know I'm telling y'all anyway, that's my vibe. That's my thing. It's kind of like uh, when I'm really in love in a relationship, I just go along with them. And I kind of lose myself. That's not good. And y'all, I'm still doing it. <laughs> Help me. So I'm trying. I'm learning. The good thing is the person that I'm with now, they want me to be me. But still, even though they saying they want me to be me, it's still, they got opinions on things that I 
probably don't necessarily agree with. So it's kind of like a clash. They're saying, be you. Then at the same time, they like, you need to listen to me. So, you know what I'm saying? I know better or whatever have you. So it's difficult, guys. This stuff is hard. I just be want to listen to me. I just want to listen to me. <laughs> so when I start blocking people out, understand too, I'm an empath. Oh my God. On top of that. So it's kind of like, if you feeling bad, I'm feeling bad. And I don't want you to feel bad. So I go along with you too. That kind of stuff. What the heck? That ain't right. It's not right. It's not right. All right. Mm. It's not right. So guys, even though I know I do these videos for y'all, I'm doing it for me too. So let's see, what are we gonna do? Let's just see, let's just see. So let me see. We're gonna do an old school basic reading. I'm trying to see which cards to use. Ooh, these, you know, I like these cards, these are pretty cool. So first thing we're gonna do, pull, I ain't pulling the headspace for the Divine Feminine first, cause yeah, I mean, y'all can kind of see where I'm at. Y'all probably see where y'all at. Um, we on the same. Oh, my card is bent. We on the same. Same or what? But let's see, guys. Let's just see what spirit has to um, have space for the, what I say? Let's go ahead, divine feminine, have space. Let's see. We got the emperor. So the emperor... It's kind of like you know what you need to do. See how he's very confident. So Divine Feminine, it's kind of like you know what you need to do. You're very confident. And that's... You want to remain the Emperor, you need to go with that. Do what you need to do, Divine Feminine. Let's see. Headspace for the Divine Masculine is... Yes. We got Five of Cups. Five of Cups. It's Cups and Motions. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Five of Cups. Yeah, let's just see what Five of Cups is. It's kind of it's like some kind of emotion. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says uh, grieving, disillusions, disappointment, betrayal, bitterness, wallowing, self-pity, can signify a broken heart. Hmm. Not letting go of past trauma, crying over spilled milk, rooting deeply into shadow work without healing and letting go. Old stories that become a part of you. Callousness being jaded. So the divine masculine is you. Man. He's feeling jaded, betrayed in some way. Self-pity, broken hearted. You know what I'm saying? Things just ain't going right for him. And little do the divine masculine know is just like the divine feminine, the things that are not going right for you is not nobody else's fault. It's your fault. It's absolutely your fault. You've allowed your life the way that it is. The divine feminine, even though um, she's starting to see her mistakes, emperor, she could very well, what, last week? Then I had Divine Feminine was like pity, pity, and the Divine Masculine was goody, good. So, you know, we be switching up energies. So it's kind of like right now the Divine Feminine is seeing, what over here, seeing her faults and seeing it kind of like she's in the Emperor state. Divine Masculine right now is like feeling messed up and like self-pity and then because he's realizing what he's done wrong and that's kind of where divine feminine was we always a little bit ahead ain't we <laughs> divine feminine and now so you know in a little while divine master you gonna be right here in this emperor seat as well so yeah let's see so you know what let's just get us uh, some um good advice where, where me get my advice from? I got so many cards, guys. Where are my Let's see. Let's get some good advice. Oh, 
gonna do trust your vibe. Cause you gotta trust your vibe, right? You trust your vibe. That's why you ain't you, you gonna be doing what you what spirit is telling you to do. You know what I'm saying? Those mistakes, even if it is a mistake, those are the mistakes that you're supposed to make because that's your life. Even when you're making these mistakes, listen to other people doing what they say. That's your your path, your mistake. But you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be stuck. We all want to elevate and grow. So, you know, we got to get it together and really, really make our mistakes. Because you, you making another person's mistake, that's just slowing down your process of learning. You know what I mean? And that's just the truth. So, trust your vibe. I'm going to pull a card for the Divine Masculine. I'm going to give you some... Something that you need to trust in on your vibe. You know what I'm saying? What we got? See the solution. Okay, Divine Master, this is what you need to do. You need to look at the solution of your problem. Okay, so you got this problem, right? That's why you feel in a little self-pity. Because you got some issues. You got some problems. What's the solution to your problem? I mean, plain and simple. You, you should be able to answer that. The solution to my problems is, is either you need to do something or you need to allow something to happen. And you got to let the ego out. You got to let everything else out in order to get to your true answer. That's that's what really keeps us be in these places. The ego. Because your ego is saying do it one way. Your ego is keeping you in this self-pity. And it says, see the solution? What's the arrow pointing at? The solution is you. You already got the solution. The solution is you. Whether it's something you need to stop doing, something you need to do. It's always you. And even though that's for the divine mass, and that goes for the divine feminine too. But that's the um, trust your vibe message for you, divine masculine. So let's get one for the divine feminine. God, claim your boundaries. I mean, come on now. Claim your boundaries, divine family. That's just what I was just talking about. So you have to claim your boundaries. Look, notice how what she got the arrows born up point and all at her. You got a well, I just did a little video and I'm uploaded here on YouTube too, saying that um you gotta make room for what you want and what's what's stopping you? You are. You are arrows pointing at you. What's stopping you, divine masculine? You are. But sometimes we don't realize that. He's the solution is, is is within him. What's stopping me, divine feminine, from getting to where I want to be, from getting to where you want to be, you are. Because you're not claiming your boundaries. You could have been where you wanted to be. Been. But you're not claiming your boundaries. Like I said, I got the moon in Pisces. And that allows me to go along with somebody I love. That's not my boundary. That's their boundary. I need to claim my boundaries and stick to it. Stop. Put that shield up. And stop. Stop doing that. Divine feminine. Stop going along to get along. Stop. Just listen to somebody else's opinions when you got a clear opinion on what you should do. So when we follow our true path, we get to where we're going quicker because we're going to learn quicker because it was our mistake to learn. I can't learn from another person's mistake. I'm going to learn my mistake. Yeah. And then I'm going to just move on and elevate. But then if I'm, if I'm learning from the mistake that you're telling me to make and I learn from that, I mean, I can't learn from that. Because in the first place, I'd be like, what am I going to say first off? Oh, I didn't want to do it anyway. I was just listening to them. Bam. That's their mistake. What I learned? Nothing. I learned to listen to myself. Probably that. And then still, you may not get it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's easier said than done. Now. Now. And I always like to pull a surrender card if I can find my surrender deck. And I think it's downstairs. I think it's downstairs. So instead, what am I pull? No love cards. What am I pull? Hmm. Okay, this is once you start realizing, uh, divine masculine, that you are what's holding you back. 
you are what's making you feel self-pity. Once you realize that, the rest of this card is going to say it's going to put you. What's going to happen once you realize that? What's going to happen for you, Divine Master? Once you realize that their self-pity is caused by you, what's going to happen when you realize that? We got it. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So, Divine Master, you already know. You already know. You got to treat, keep facing your true north. You know it, but it's something that's stopping you. Probably something like pride and ego, which stops a lot of us from getting to where we want to be. But you know this. You know it. Okay, Divine Feminine. I forgot what I said. Oh, what's going to happen when you claim your boundaries? Remember that card? Claim your boundaries. What's going to happen, Divine Feminine, when you claim your boundaries? Soul family. Calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So, Divine Feminine. Once you claim your boundaries and do what you know that you wanted to do all along, your soul family is going to be there to support you. Your child. There's people that already knew what you should have done or you, you know. They're going to understand why you did what you did and they're going to be there for you. So, yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you guys for tuning in. Tangible Goddess. Grand Rising. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Just, uh, hmm. Hmm. Thank you for vibing with me. Share this video if you like it. Tell your friends. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers, guys, so I can make some money. I know I said that I upload the little video about it, but, um, you know, I know the people that actually vibe with me will share my video, you know, and maybe some people got a ego and they don't want me to blow up or make money. They like, forget her. I don't know what y'all thinking, but for my real true, true tribe, please share, like, vibe, and subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in. Blessings. All day, every day. Peace.